Meghan Markle is at the center of yet another royal controversy, as you've probably heard by now. Once more, the controversy revolves around Meghan's reported animosity toward her in-laws. However, things are a little different this time around because Meghan hasn't leveled any new accusations against King Charles and company, though she might be upset with the party that did. Let we clarify. In 2021, Meghan disclosed that during her first pregnancy, a royal family member voiced concerns regarding the skin tone of the unborn kid. Naturally, Meghan was horrified, but she chose not to publicly name the offending party. But earlier this week, it was discovered that there was a printing error in the Dutch version of writer Omid Scobie's new book, which incorrectly labeled Charles as the royal bigot. Wednesday night, Piers Morgan said that Kate Middleton was also implicated in the book during his regular talk show. Scobie asserted in remarks to ABC News that the identities were released due to a translation error, adding that the names are not included in any English version of his book. However, the writer may soon have to deal with a few expensive lawsuits. Newsweek is informed by lawyer Mark Stevens that Meghan and Prince Harry have every right to sue Scobie for. He informed the publication, privacy belongs to Meghan and Harry separately and severally. It doesn't just belong to the palace. It is quite astounding that Meghan and Harry haven't already directed Shillings, their legal team, to issue injunctive proceedings against Omid Scobie, given their utter horror at invasions of privacy and their presumably solemn undertaking that this should never see the light of day. Stevens notes that the Sussexes may be able to defend themselves against more legal action from the Crown by suing Scobie. At a moment when tensions between the two rival sections of the family are at an all-time high, such a move may potentially be interpreted as a big peace proposal. Scobie isn't going back on his criticism of the royal family in the meantime. The journalist attacked the Windsors for their prejudice in a recent interview with Yahoo News, claiming that Harry and Meghan left the UK because of their overt racism. Scobie told the publication, I saw this for what it was, a mixed-race woman who was largely left unprotected and not defended or helped. Meghan was a human being who should have been treated as an equal to those around her, but she was consistently treated less favorably than that, whether you like her or not. Scobie has developed a reputation as one of the Sussex's most vocal fans in recent years. In an odd turn of events, however, he might soon find himself going up against the pair in court.